Hello everyone, Jen here. A lot of you have been wondering where I've been and I want to reassure everyone that I'm doing A-OK. -okay. The reason I stopped doing tutorials is because they were originally meant for my little sister, but she lost interest in making a Warrior Cat game, so I didn't see any reason to make any more. I was really surprised to log on to my YouTube channel and see so many comments and views, so I've decided to come back. However, I will be doing the tutorials a little differently, focusing on a specific theme each episode. Please comment below and tell me what you want to learn so I know what to focus my tutorials on. Today I'll be teaching you several ways to change pelt or fur colors for your main character. This idea was suggested by Muffinsore on my last video. The methods I will be showing you so that you can decide which is right for you are a way to make the main character have a random fur color each time you start the game, the player presses a button to change the fur color, the player answers the question what fur color do you want, and that has two different methods, and a character customization screen with again two different methods. So let's get started. Alright, so the first method we're going to do is your sprite having a random color when you start the game. Now this isn't a super common method, but I have seen this in quite a few games. You start the game and your cat is a random color. So if you want to do it this way, you'll go to events, which is the yellow, grab one flag clicked, because when you start the game, you click the green flag on scratch. So when green flag clicked, and now you're going to go to costumes. Make sure you're on your main character sprite. Go to costumes which is the second tab, and see how many sprites your character has. Mine has three, and it should say in the little corner. Make sure all of your sprites are at the top as well that you want to start with. So one, two, three, I have gray, orange, brown. And I'm going to go to operators, which is the green. Pick random one through ten, and now we're going to change ten to whatever number of colors you have. Mine is three, like I said. We're just going to leave that there for a second. Now we're going to go to looks, which is the purple. And now we're going to go to the costume section and grab switch costume to, and it should just say the first costume that you have there. We're going to take the pick random one through whatever and plop it down right where that costume name is supposed to be. Now, whenever we click the flag, the cat will be a random color. Click, 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 click. Sometimes it'll be the same one as, like, in a row, but it is completely random. So now we're going to move on to where you click a button and the fur color changes. And you'll want to put this in the description or something so that they will know, be like, hey, click, let's say, hmm. P for pelt to change pelt color. No, that's all right. Okay, you're gonna grab when. Okay, you're gonna grab when space key pressed. But we're gonna change space key to whatever button you want it to be, or maybe you want to keep it space key, whatever you want to keep it. But I'm changing it to P. When P key pressed. That's kind of funny sounding. Go to looks, go back down to the costume section, and we're going to grab next costume. Make sure not to grab next backdrop. It's next costume. So now when I click P, it goes to the next costume, not a random one. So it goes brown, gray, orange, so that it can cycle through. Next, we're going to go to a question. So there's going to be two different ways to do this. The first way, involves naming your sprites correctly and if you don't want to do that then there's another way so first we're going to pretend that we named our sprites correctly which would be name it just the color and this will not work very well with uh, multiple sprites so this is the first method you name your sprites whatever colors they are. I have mine gray, orange, and brown. I'm gonna go to the code, and we're gonna say when flag clicked, but you can do this when an event starts. Um, when 
uh, you can make this at a different time, but for now we're going to say when flag clicked. Going to go to sensing, which is the light blue. Ask what's your name and wait. But we don't actually want it to be um, <laughs> what's your name. So the, what we're, we're going to type is what do you want your fur color to be? Question mark. And you can change this question up a bit. But now we're going to put parentheses. Brown gray or orange and uh, obviously this would be whatever colors you have if you have too many if you have like a large selection then this might not be the best method for you and now we're going to go to uh, if blank or uh, sorry let me think now we're going to go to switch costume to and then it'll say the first one go back down to sensing grab answer which is right underneath the question to answer so now when it starts I want it to be gray now it's gray but this will require the player to answer the question correctly because if they just ignore the brown, gray, or orange and they put in, um, say they put in purple, <laughs> there is no purple sprite. So it's not going to turn purple and it's just the game is going to move on like it didn't happen. So now we're going to try the second method. This is a little more complicated, but it does work <laughs> each time so we're gonna grab go to control which is the lighter orange but not yellow grab if blank then else not, not if blank then and then that's it make sure it has the else attached so now we're gonna go down to operators and we're going to grab blank equals 50 and we're gonna put it right where that little shape is and we're going to go back to sensing, which is the light blue, grab answer, and put it where the 50 is. Or, uh, sorry, not where the 50 is. <laughs> the exact opposite of where the 50 is. And we're going to put if answer equals brown, which is my first sprite or any sprite. You're going to just put however many you're going to need here. I'm using just three for my three sprites, but please use your uh, logic to put as many as you need and then you're going to right click which is the click you rarely use click duplicate and put it right in the else section set that <laughs> and we're going to change brown to gray because that's our second sprite and do it again stop that and do orange Oop orange and then we're going to need one more time so there's always going to be one more than what you need or uh, sorry no <laughs> I'm messing up a lot today my bad so we're gonna there's going to be three because I have three sprites and we're gonna need to um so if answer equals brown we're going to go to purple looks switch costume to brown and then we're going to copy this same thing, switch post, and then you're going to click on that to change it to gray, switch costume to orange, and else, this, you can put a lot of different things here. You could say, um, if you wanted it to be an event, this might be easier. You could go to when I receive message one, which would be whatever you want. And then if they don't do it right, broadcast message one, and it'll just cycle through over and over again until the character, until they get it right. Or you can have it say, that wasn't a valid color 
please try one more time. And then you can actually just duplicate it and do that. But I, I recommend doing this being like message one and then, oops, <laughs> I'm messing all up today. That wasn't a valid color. Try again. Let's try one more time. And then you would broadcast message one and it'll keep going. This is the best method. So let's try that. So first I have to have this right here, which will practice it. Broadcast message one. What do you want your fur color to be? Brown, gray, or orange? And I'm gonna say brown. It's brown now. Now I'm gonna try to do it wrong. Broadcast message one, purple. That wasn't a valid color. Please try one more time. What do you want your fur color to be? So that works really well. But if you want it to be easiest and just when flag color clicked, then take that out. And you can actually just do this to make it a little shorter. So that'll be, I put in orange and it changes it to orange. So this is a little complicated. I'm sorry, I didn't do a super great job of explaining it. But basically, whatever the person answers is what it'll change it to. Now this is the last method, but it's probably the most complicated. And this is a character customization screen, and I can think of two different ways. So let's pretend we have our character here, and this is at the start, let's say, and we want to have buttons that have different colors in each. So let's say brown. So we have a brown one, and then duplicate that. Gray, right there. Oops, it's not, it's not even there. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, and then orange. All right, so let's say we have those. Those are three different buttons and you can put all sorts of other things here, but let's just say you have a button for each. So what you're gonna do is when flag color clicked, go to looks, show. So that's important because otherwise it will, will not show. So when flag clicked, we're actually gonna put that in each. You can do that by dragging it and then when this sprite clicked let's broadcast message one but we're going to make a new message and it's going to be brown Oop, it, it wasn't typing brown broadcast brown and then we're going to go back to our main character when i receive brown which is right above broadcast brown looks switch costume to brown and we're gonna do this similarly in gray and orange except we're going to oh did we okay oh there it is <laughs> okay new message gray and new message orange Ooh. orange and when i receive brown to brown gonna duplicate that when i receive gray turn to gray duplicate it again when i receive orange switch costume to orange and so basically click black round it's brown see perfect works great and if we wanted it to be like 
Okay, I pick gray. We would need to make one more button, and it could say something like, uh, it could say something like, green, it could be green, say, start. Uh, let's turn that white. Start. This isn't perfect, but start. So we're also going to do the when flag clicked looks show. And then when this sprite clicked, broadcast, let's say start. And then hide. And when I receive, one second, when I receive start, looks, hide, hide it. So, and you're going to put that in all the other ones. And you can put that in the main character if you want, but let's just play this. So we start brown, let's go with orange, start. And it does that. When you click flag, it shows up again. So that's how that would do that. But let's say we don't want these buttons. We have too many pelt colors to choose from or something. So then we would create different buttons. And we would, sorry, I have to commit. So let's draw, oh, that's white. I didn't mean for it to be white. That's going to be bad. Let's draw. Sorry, it's red and it looks really bad. I'm sorry. I'm being lazy today red triangle duplicate and then uh, uh, There It looks kind of dumb sorry about that But so we would do it similar way when Flag clicked, show, and when, but when this is clicked, when this sprite clicked, broadcast next is what I'm going to call it. You can name it whatever you want. And then when the other one is clicked, broadcast previous. Oh, it didn't type. <laughs> I, I swear, I'm all mixed up today. So, let's ignore these for now. When I receive next, next costume. Um, previous is a little more difficult. When I receive previous. I know there's a way to do it that's a lot easier. Um, gotta remember how to do it. Okay. Yes, I remember. Okay, so you do, you would grab operators, this minus one, switch costume two, and then the minus, and then you grab costume number, this is in looks, you have to scroll down a little bit. Costume number minus one. Might sound a little weird, but that means it just brings it back one costume. So let's go here. Next costume. Doop it doop it doop. Boop, 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 boop. It works perfectly. And then when you add start, it would do the same thing as the other one. So these are all four methods. Boop. All four methods I can think of are these. So hopefully one of these will work well for you. And obviously you can do a lot of different things to change some of these. But these are the best methods I could think of. Uh, the most basic tutorial of them. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.